Okay, so I am up here at Oakland City train station. And I had to get some things handled. And I didn't want to be sitting in the room, you know, just not able to leave. And the guy basically was trying to behave abusively towards me. Um, basically, he was trying to, like, leave me at the room. Like, oh, it's cool, you know, like, yeah, I got this room for you. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go hang out there. And I feel it's important to tell what's going on because when people are just hateful then you know you have to kind of just give a little details about your life because they'll try to do the most evil stuff to you that you can even imagine and they'll do it on a daily basis if you allow them so we had an agreement and I had minimum contact with him because I felt like if he left and he said he was going somewhere and he'll be back, then he'll be back when he come back, you know? So I didn't really call him too much once I realized that he didn't come back when he said he would, but that was the note that he left me in the room and he even kissed me on my cheek and then left out smiling and lying. And so... I knew his feelings was hurt because he snatched up his clothes and said he was leaving. And then when I asked him, uh, you know, about it, like, you know, why are you leaving the way you're leaving? And he was like, oh, you know, I'll be back and everything like that. So we even talked on the phone and he said that he was coming back. So at that point, I figured, oh, he want to play games because of the sex, because I wasn't allowing him to do what he wanted to do and I knew that's what it was and so I didn't want to get into that because it's my body you know um and I don't want that you know and it is what it is you can't fault me for that and so everybody is different I'm not one of those women who want to be just pounded on and things like that I'm, I'm just not into that if it doesn't do that for me it just doesn't do that for me so I definitely did not want to um, continue doing it until we reach some sort of understanding about um, what I will not allow and it, it to me it's just common sense you know it's just common sense and so let me just get back to the topic um, basically um, he just kept, like, calling me, and he called me, I'm like, okay, I can't go anywhere, but I'm in the room already, pretty much, I could just go to the store next door if I need to go to the store and get something and come right back, but I will leave the door cracked, and that was the first, or second, the first night that he didn't come back, so at that point, you know, I was like, that's a bit of an issue, but I'll just say, ask him when he comes back if he'll go ahead and get the key because he said he was going to get one already. So, um, he didn't get the key because he never came back. And so he had the key with him. And when I wanted to go somewhere today, I could not, you know, like really just leave all of my things. So, to me, that's, like, a very good plot. Like, you have to really, that's, like, in the Bible, I told you, it said they laid a crafty net. They Or they took crafty counsel. That's one of those things where it's, like, a net that's so privily laid. Like, it's so good. It's such a good damn scheme. And you got to understand, these men are very, very intelligent. But at the same time, the Lord has taught me, a lot about life and I know that they get away with a lot of stuff in this society um, men do and then they cook up a whole bunch of plots and stuff and a lot of women get dragged down or get drugged down because of their sinister plans and plots and things like that as far as wanting to get what they want from women and wanting certain women to be in a vulnerable position because of what they want from that woman and so or and the demise because sometimes these men be trying to bring about a certain end to a person because they don't wrong the person so much 
and people don't want to take any accountability for the things that they have done to the person so a lot of times they get together and they put these little crafty plans and sometimes people ain't even did nothing even the bible talk about that when people ain't even did nothing to you and they lay plots for you you know in america it's been hard for me to have anything or do anything and anytime i'm doing something and i'm i'm doing better it has been a problem for my enemies all over this country to see a black woman doing good you know it's like they just want to tear 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 you down to a certain standard that they have for you and then they don't want to li- they don't want to lift you up above that standard and then they want to constantly tell you you ain't shit and you ain't this and you ain't that when they the ones dragging your ass down to that and if you choose not to allow them to beat you down to be who they want you to be how they want you to be which is really toe up to the flow up then what they do is they don't want nothing to do with you and I call that hating you know and I get a lot of that bullshit because I don't have to settle to carry myself a certain way just because I'm African American woman and they doing little slick stuff to try to have me out but let me just say the part about the room that is very sinister because you know if i had the money i could pay for my own room and i ain't never let no man come to my room the times that i did pay for my own room for the week y'all ain't never seen me you will see when some people donated me money and i stayed the night in the room by myself that's exposing the plot i did not bring no men in my room you see what i'm saying so the whole part about the shelter i was telling them from the shelter telling people on my channel like oh man they trying to sex traffic me and you got these big old nasty fat funky ass black women working up there that'll let a nigga do anything to they fuck ass want to put me beautiful young black woman in a position to where you know what these men trying to do to me and you gonna sign for the shit you know what the united states trying to do covering up my pregnancy and you gonna sign for the shit i don't even want to get into that i just want to get to the sex part that these women knew what they was doing when they staged stuff to have me out of the shelter they knew i was pregnant and i started to uh do a video to show y'all my stomach moving because the baby is like kicking like a mug and then you try to make me say that it's a crime you try to say it's a crime for me telling these men that got to know me that i was with child for me telling family for me telling people from the jail for me telling everybody that i was with child it's sinister you have no other plot for me at this point if you're gonna leave the baby kicking inside of me and everybody done seen what they done seen ain't no reason for me to trust any fucking body around me and that shows how predatory everybody is in this country y'all ain't nothing but a fucking bunch of fucking predators man like real fucking talk because ain't no reason why i should it should have had to go this far with me coming out of the jail innocent saying that i'm pregnant and i want my little boy back and i need help from my family and my friends and y'all know what time it is y'all know what happened and y'all know what i went through they shouldn't even have left me back there in that jail long enough for them people to do what they did nobody should have been co-signing for covering up none of my evidence nobody should have been co-signing for covering up the facts about my pregnancy they shouldn't have did that shit this is my body and i was on trial and I, i was going to trial and i was not guilty of what i was being charged for so you had no right to deny me medical care and try to abort my baby and then let me out the fucking jail with the baby still inside of me kicking and then everybody want to keep saying oh it's her fault she a prostitute that was the plot everybody just leave her out there don't nobody help her no family don't take her in don't no friends help her this is the bullshit that trifling ass world that we live in today did this how funky and nasty and fucked up this world is it is so fucking trifling i spit on this shit because that's the type of people that's living in this world and now i see why i'm hated so much because i would never fucking do that shit to no female i would never do it to nobody and that's why they want people like me dead so they evil asses can keep doing the same fucking shit they've been doing using abusing women stealing children and lying about it and plotting and try to point the finger at the people that you did it to so that's what this shit is about so when i'm in the room and i'm seeing men try to starve me not one two three ain't no oh she a hoe you ain't you can't expect no nigga to feed you no bitch i'm pregnant 
and they starved me in that jail. So, and they cut, been covering up my pregnancy. And this is another thing, they'll have me up somewhere for like two months with a man where he doing stuff with me, acting all crazy and fucking with my pregnancy. And then all of a sudden when I, I'm showing and I'm telling the information, all of a sudden he's staging shit to have me out of the fucking house to where I gotta walk around and walk my weight off to where you can hardly tell, but you can still tell. And everybody who done came across me, they know. And I'll be sucking it in, but people still staring. And that's fucking ridiculous trying to say shit so i'm gonna go back to the plot about leaving me in the room with no food and then trying to leave the door open so i can't really go anywhere or leave my stuff so they don't want me feeling like i have anywhere to actually they don't want me to have anywhere to where i can keep myself together and have my stuff securely and that does remind me of this movie when you think about the victims uh, and but really, it's not even the victims that I feel. I feel that it's the people that's behind the shit. Um, if, if I went and did my research on those three movies, Hostel One, Two, and Three, and when I was looking at the people, uh, I was reading the, the little script, and I seen that it was elite people that that was abusing the poor and other people, you know. And it, and to me, I didn't feel like it related a lot to me, but it does as far as the society and the mentality that people have uh, against people that you feel don't have anything and it's very wicked and so leaving me in a room and then trying to pretend like you was helping me and you leaving me in the room and all y'all doing the same thing starving me and I'm with child um leaving with the key in a room that's supposed to be for me and they're leaving me to where I can't go in and out the room and leave my stuff in there. That's like, then I have to leave. Doing the same stuff, forcing me to leave, and then trying to make it seem like, oh, her pussy wasn't good enough. No, that ain't what it is, because I don't have plenty of men tell me that I have some good sex. But what it is, is it ain't necessarily, it, it, it's wanting to ruin somebody's reputation and everything. They want to completely try to destroy you. So I, I had thought about it today. I said, you know what? They should be ashamed. They going to be ashamed because I'm pregnant. So for you to be talking about you was trying to pound anything and dog me out like anything. Now, if I was not pregnant, then it's a whole bunch of shit that I could be doing. So for any of those men to try to even think that you're going to defame me off of talking about Oh, her sex wasn't good enough. That's why I abused Andrea in a hotel room. I don't give a fuck if it was psychologically, financially, you know, uh, physically, however you did it. You gonna be ashamed of yourself because I'm with child and you taking advantage of me just because the system fucked me over and don't want to admit that I'm pregnant and that they did this to me and my baby. So for black men to know that I'm telling the truth and to still come at me like, oh, we're going to take advantage of the fact that uh, it hasn't been proven that, yeah, we, sh we see that she is and everybody know that she is, but it haven't been proven in the court of law and nobody took her case, won't nobody help her, so we just going to abuse her. We just going to go into the situation and then act like she not pregnant, even if I got to suck it in, I can't tell a person that I'm pregnant. Or, oh, you don't want to help me. Or you want to ask me what I did wrong. You know, like, you know, plotting and shit. So the net to starve me, leave me in the room with no way to get out while he's psychologically abusing me while I'm sitting in the room starving with no food. Marcus did this. And two other guys did this. And then trying to make it seem like, oh, she can't feed herself or whatever. I can feed myself. They not leaving the key. So even still with me going somewhere to go get some food for myself, I don't have a way to go and get the food and be able to come back. And then my stuff is in the room. And it ain't no, oh, she just living out them niggas, them niggas mad, they got a right. No. If you meet a woman and you see her outside and you say, oh, I'm going to pay for you a room for a week, then that's what you do. And anything that go further than that, if you abuse me, I got a right to report the shit. And people can get mad all they want. Stop fucking abusing me. I don't give a fuck what kind of abuse it is. Because abuse is abuse, period. And then don't want to be reported. 
So they starved me in these motel rooms and I'm pregnant and I've been trying to prove my case where I've been at. And people been trying to starve me at all of their houses ever since I, I mean, they was eating my food trying to starve me. They was putting stuff in my food. These people have done all kind of shit, but the main thing I want to stay calm about is that yes, they tried to slick starve me, but I found ways to get me some food, but I peeped that shit. Then they tried to leave me in the room um, and deceive me and try to have me in the room fucking all up on me and I need a place to stay. So the shelters was trying to make it seem like um, that my pregnancy, basically I'm pregnant. I can't just get up and go work and do things that a lot of other women can do. You know what I'm saying? And then they're stealing my identification or my identification keeps going missing around these people. My identification is not going missing when I'm by myself. My identification ain't nothing going missing when I'm by myself. So they can't try that bullshit saying, oh, she can't even keep her own ID. No, I kept my motherfucking ID all the way from Texas. I'm the one who ordered it all the way back here. And I kept my motherfucking ID from the jail all the way to when I was at LaMarcus Sanders in them house and it went missing there. So it's when I'm getting around these shiesty ass niggas. And I don't want to be around them. But the state is leaving me outside. And my family and friends is leaving me outside. And they know that I'm with child. And that's setting me up. That's why I say I don't fuck with none of them. And ain't no owe you shit. No, they don't owe you shit. That's right. You say that shit. You don't owe me shit. Y'all don't owe me shit. That's what I want to hear. Because I want you to say that shit so they know the type of shiesty ass bitches and niggas that stab me in the fucking back. They call themselves my family and friends, right? You don't owe me shit, right? Because you the same motherfucker that stab me in my back for no reason. You the same jealous ass motherfucker that want to see me not make it, period. Tell the truth about all the plots that you did to try to keep me outside and keep me from my baby and getting medical care. Now we talking. And should nobody been trying to fuck on me like that, I'm pregnant. And see, when they're not telling the truth about my pregnancy, that means that people can try to come and get on top of me. They was trying to get all up on top of me. And I told them niggas, no, you ain't getting on top of me because I already don't want to be fucking with them. It ain't no agreement. They ain't paying me to have sex with them. And I'm going to clear that shit up, too. Because I said they were trying to sex traffic me and the niggas been trying to be slick about it. And God showed me from the jail. He was like, when they was back there trying to cover up the evidence, they had black men, uh, Freemasons trying to help them cover up the evidence about my pregnancy and my case while they had me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail. Racist ass fucking county. And that's what black men did. They showed me that deep, deep behind the scenes, they worship white people and don't give a fuck about none of us. So these alliances that they have and talking about unity and shit, that shit don't have nothing to do with people like me. We're not a part of it. It don't matter to us. They, they, we not unified with these people. We're not one with them. They're talking about their united front with each other. And they're willing to cup up whatever it is and do whatever it is so they can have whatever it is in this society that they want to have. So, um, let me just go into detail because it's a little martyr police officer or whatever sitting over here. And I don't really give a fuck because I'm not bothering nobody, but I hate the bullshit. So anyway, um... What was I saying, y'all? Because that shit just told me how he was over there cutting on his lights and stuff. And I'm like, look, stay your ass over there across in the fucking parking lot. But yes, they have these alliances. And black men had me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail knowing that I was back there. And they knew the evidence to my case. And they was back there. They was trying to do witchcraft on me, trying to threaten me for these white people or whatever about the altercation that happened between me and Austin. And God showed me that's a female and she's pregnant. He ain't have no business putting his hands on Andrea, trying to attack Andrea, period, for all these black men to be trying to come out the fucking woodwork, talking about you trying to kill Andrea because she heard a white man, and then talking about these black women over here trying to punch Andrea in her stomach and shit because she heard a white man that was hurting her, and she's pregnant. This is a shame on this country. So that's why motherfuckers want to keep plotting on me and um, trying to have me all fucked up. Because this, the one thing about this country is they so built on lies. Everybody is about image, 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 image. And that's what I found out about the media and why certain uh, news people were telling me in the spirit. They was like, Andrea, we can't cover your... They were basically showing me they not allowed to cover my story. That they, they know that I'm pregnant. And that they know what's being done to me. And that they know that it goes too far back. I've been released from this jail for about two years now. This is very serious. You know, and when you did this to a person and then you caused me to be so traumatized to have to go from place to place and you still doing it and y'all still doing it and you still trying to set me up to make it look like it was something that I could have did to help myself. 
I was pregnant, released from a jail, and I was tortured by the United States in the back of the fucking jail, starved. Told them that I was pregnant and that I needed more food. And they lied and was like, oh, no, you're not. And my body started to eat itself. And I was skin and bones with a little baby bump. And everybody knew. And that's how they kept me. And when I came out of the jail, I was skin and bones and pregnant with a baby inside of me, having been in hell, passed the labor mark, having went to, into labor, and having had people medically fucking with my body while I was in the cell waiting for a trial. And they, they drugged me. They spiked me in my drink. Um, they did all kind of stuff to me that somebody needs to sit down and discuss with me about what they did because you, 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 I hate to see this fake ass media with everybody out there making up stories. That's why they had to go and focus on people that got killed and killing people so much because they don't want people to really zone in and be like, hold the fuck up. Y'all did this shit to this lady. Y'all starved this fucking lady. This lady is pregnant. Y'all sat over there sex trafficked this lady. Her own family and friends turned her away on purpose knowing that she was pregnant in that jail, bro. And what make it so bad, I would love to say it was because they were scared to help me. I would love to say that's what it was. But no, God showed me in the jail it's because they was evil. That's what he told me. That's what he showed me. That your family got know you back here with these people starving you and this baby, and they know you're not guilty. I am out. I am not guilty. There was no reason for my motherfucking family to let me sit back there and starve with this baby, man, for no 10 months. And everybody riding around in these expensive-ass motherfucking cars, man. But when Larissa went to jail for supposedly abusing her own son and her baby daddy went to jail for abusing her own son at three months old, everybody put their money together and went and bonded, him, bonded her out. But this white man was attacking me. I'm pregnant and attacking my baby. My baby was 22 months old. The man done ran me out of my motherfucking house. The man attacking me all up in my motherfucking house. The man attacking my damn, look, my baby ain't down. The baby attacking my baby up in the house. And these motherfuckers got the nerve to sit over here and try to take up for him. But I got to go. I think my ride is here.